Right guys, in this video we're about to head off in a moment, I'm about to get my jacket on, we've got to go into Newquay in Cornwall in this episode and we're going to go to a shop, we're going to have a quick look about, now it is always really busy inside of there so I'm going to fill them what I can, where I can, we're going to get some little bits and pieces from the shop all for my new altar setup which I'm going to be explaining to you guys, plus I've got some spells I need to be doing, my little boy, my dog Reef, who's absolutely amazing, he's right next to me here, and he's here, oh dude look, who's that, Is them people, look, say hello. <laughs> this is Reefy everybody and uh, he's my little boy and he's 12 year old and he's most recently had a really bad operation on his leg um, he tore the cruciate ligament in his knee and when he tore the cruciate ligament in his knee it meant he had to have a serious operation, nearly three and a half thousand pounds worth, which I've paid out my money, out of my money for, um, obviously to protect him, because it's just the way it is, but he's also insured. Now the thing is guys, I've paid insurance for 12 years, now that people don't want to pay me my money back, so when people don't pay me my money back and they owe me and I've done everything right my side then there's a spell for that but we'll get to that one later on but this is Reefus and you're a little dude dog aren't you you gorgeous boy Good kiss oh bless him so this is Reefy you're going to see in many of my videos probably um, you might be you will see my partner Jill as well but anyway we need to go and get a spell because I also want his leg to heal um, because he has got a poorly leg and it is a little bit swollen um, still and he's currently on cage rest as you know we live in a van nowhere for a cage so he's pretty much that means bed rest he's up here in the bed with me chilling out and enjoying life really enjoying the sun and relaxing by the beach isn't that right pooch hey you're a gorgeous boy aren't you what's on today then eh anything good no have a kiss <laughs> Anyway guys, listen, let's get shopping and we'll go to this one and uh, I'll see you in the shop. Mm, in a moment guys, aloha! <laughs> bits and pieces this is where I get a lot of the bits and pieces I need from so let's have a look inside and I won't be talking inside this I'll do a voiceover for this bit because there's people inside there music and stuff like that so let's go and check it out guys Thank you. 
please? Thank you. Wow. So we are back. Um, I'm in the van. I'm just set back up to my spot. And I got all sorts. <laughs> I couldn't film everything I was getting inside of there, guys. Um, and I've also had some deliveries in the meantime. If you wonder how I get deliveries, deliveries come down to a place I work out from. I also do a lot of boat trips and stuff like that, so I work out at sea quite often, and I get deliveries there. So let's have a quick check here to what we've got. So I've got some pretty awesome things. I've got one kind of controversial thing as well. Ooh. So let's have a look at this, guys. This is exciting. Let's get into it. Okay, where to start? First off, I'm gonna show you what I've got. I've got to show you this, this is beautiful. This actually I didn't get from the shop, this has been delivered. Uh, it's called Kingswood, which is work the best magic, wands and broomsticks. So I'm gonna give these guys a shout out because this is absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you can see this, this is, it says here, please pass a card to a friend when it's came through. I'm gonna show you this in a moment, guys. So what I've done kindly is just pass a card to a friend. Um, to there, now I'll show you this, here's the details. Not sponsored, nothing like that, okay? So hopefully you can get all the parts of the screen if you need to. And I'll show you what I got. Look at this. There's a little besom, besom made for my altar, for my mini altar. Now, I've been in, living in a van, obviously I don't have all the room in the world, so I've got a little basket I'll show you in a moment which I've got to keep all these things in. So it's a beautiful little altar, it's got a beautiful Tree of Life charm on there, and uh, yeah, I'm actually over the moon with that, That's just, it's just beautiful. Just look at that again. Isn't that beautiful guys? And it was like two or three pound or something, it was really cheap and it says blessings on it. And I just think that's absolutely amazing. So anyway, so check those guys out there, ones and broomsticks, absolutely amazing, so we've got that. Loving it. Okay, um, now I've got a few different spells going on at the moment. So let's go into this first spell. I'll tell you a little bit about here. So what I've actually got here, I ordered some charcoal online. I don't need a lot of it. I've only got a little, a little tub of it there. Okay, there it is. Pure, so it's pure coconut charcoal. And the reason for this, guys, I'm gonna be making some black salt. So I'll do a video when I make black salt, how I make black salt and the uses for black salt. And the reason I'm making black salt for is that I have a business in our harbor and there's a local councillor who's basically um, tried to force me to close my business down so he can steal my business. I, when I'm not doing this, guys, I do like smuggling and pirate style tours. I take people on a boat and tell them all about Cornwall smuggling history all about the pirates, the Cornish pirates, the smugglers, the shipwreckers, things like that, the old sea witches and all those myths and legends of the fray or the fairy folk and all those things and I absolutely love doing that but there's a guy here who basically likes what I've been doing seeing that I'm very popular doing what I'm doing so he's done everything he can to close me down now he's closed my business down, he's got my signs removed, I've had legal letters and stuff like that and he's done everything in his power to do this so what I now need to do him is stop him from affecting my business so I want to make some black salt which I'm going to use to stop him coming anywhere near my business not only that, I'm going to use the black salt against him as well. So I hate to say the word against him, but I'm going to use the black salt so he won't want to come down to this harbour. He won't want to be here. So I'm going to use it around his business, which will make him not want to be there. It's ideal if you've got a bad neighbour, someone you don't want to be around. It can reject them and stuff like that. So I want to go over that and show you how we're going to do that at some point during this, during these um, grimoire lessons. What else do we have here? Okay, so I've got some different incenses, guys, and incense burner. So here we go. Now, these incense sticks on here are the Stamford ink ones. I've got some cinnamon, I've got some white sage. White sage, for those who don't know anything about practicing witchcraft, this is used in purification um, and blessings and things like that. And it's also used to rid evil energies. You want the real white sage, which I've got inside of here, to really, if you want a really good effect on it, for using something or doing something called smudging. Um, and if you can smudge, you'll, you'll do really well, get rid of negative energies and stuff. So that's why I've got white sage. I got cinnamon here because, well, someone owes me me £2,800 of my three and a half grand dog bill for the vet and I want that money back and they don't want to pay so I'm going to be using this along with some other oils and candle magic to do that so that's those awesome items there okay then what have we got some more white sage cones uh, which I'll be using in some other videos I'll show you later oh check this out guys this is beautiful you have seen this in the shop when I was going to buy it um, so I had to put the camera away at that point because there was loads of kids came in the shop. I didn't really film, want to film kids and stuff. But the, uh, yeah, so I've got a chalice here. Amazing, uh, feminine aspect for my altar. I've actually got a few feminine, as more feminine aspects than anything else. I've got this beautiful triquet bowl. 
there it is made of copper copper is really good for energy and stuff like that and this is an offering bowl i've got there this is also going to act as my mini cauldron and for whatever else i need it for really but that is my little bowl then we have something totally there we go as a look there we go so this here guys i'm going to use this as an altar tile it obviously has the, cru uh, the crucifix <laughs> and has the pentagram on top of there um i don't know why i said crucifix there where that come from Whew, creepy scary man anyway <laughs> not digging anyone's religion um but there we go so there's the pentagram in there and inside of there you can see it's got the points here where you can put the incense and obviously incense burning there but it's also the epic size to put candles in little mini candles that i can use because i don't have a lot of room and it works as a little altar tile as well so i'm gonna be using that for multiple use so i've got that and that's like three quid so i'm happy with that um now i have a minute mini <laughs> mini pocket goddess um, i'll be explaining what she does later on she's all about fertility and stuff and earth energies earth magic and i really wanted a, a goddess symbol for my altar um and this is going to work out absolutely amazing for my altar it's perfect it's small i don't know if i'll keep it in the pouch i may i may not um so that's really awesome and that was like three pounds for that now i don't i wouldn't normally buy these but i did here guys uh just a little packet of them i think it was like 5.99 these are resin cast and they come with a white cloth and basically what it is it was like it was basically six pounds for a white cloth altar cloth and i haven't got anything like that spare because i live in a van again how many times i'll say that so i thought hey well this is 5.99 and i get the ruins and i get the book in it now i normally make my own ruins from scratch and i will do this probably somewhere during my video and i'll take you guys out will collect the wood associated with each individual ruin because each one's got their own wood associated with it and we're going to make that i'll even make some ruin cards i'll show you how i make my ruin cards as well because uh, i've got all these things but they're 400 miles away from me here in storage so I might as well make them from scratch in my group more so i've got some ruins anyway in a little altar cloth which is pretty cool and then here we have some oils i've got some oils we have cinnamon a cinnamon you can zoom in that doom, doom, doom. Anyway, there's cinnamon. Cinnamon's really good for attracting wealth, money, prosperity, things like this. It's got many uses, but I'm using this in the spell for attracting my money back. And I'm gonna be using a green candlestick for this spell as well. So we have mini green candlesticks and oils and everything else that goes with it. And basically I'll be inscribing this candle with what I want uh, and we'll be attracting the money to come back to me um, for what someone owes me. And we'll be doing the oil and it and stuff like that. I may film some of it not all of it because i think it should be a personal thing and camera shouldn't be allowed into a sacred space really when you're filming um but i will show you guys a little bit about that and how to actually perform this spell if someone does owe you money how you can get that money back to yourself okay so we'll be doing some of that and we have of course a blue candle and on top of that we have eucalyptus oil and eucalyptus oil is used for healing and the blue is for my dog reefus little reef because i want him to have a um a quick recovery from his operation so we're going to be using this now these candles look really small i know they look small i don't have room like i said for big seven day candles and believe it or not i will make this thing last seven days and i will use it and burn it all the way down through seven days of good intention to bring about whatever need i need to happen really um and yeah so this is ideal it's not too big i can burn a piece each time and not be worried worried about taking too much time in my life about it so that's pretty awesome um, now we also have I've got I'm leaving the, 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 the controversial part to the last piece so I am going to be making a, a wand I think I said in my other video in introduction we're making some wands and when I make my wands I'm gonna be taking you guys out into the woods we're gonna be showing you how to do some tree identification by leaves and bark and stuff so you know what the uses of the trees are for and all the different medic medicinal uses to the witchcraft uses and even the folklore and belief and stuff of the silver birch the lady of the woods and or the lady of the forest and all those things but one thing we're gonna be looking at is creating an, an actual wand so when we look to create a wand we're gonna be making a wand literally showing you how to take it from the tree how to be able to use it how we ask to take it from the tree how we'll then use it how we'll bind and twist the copper the ribbons will use it how we do a cast a circle and put it inside the circle and how i work with that how i channel spirit to work with maybe the um the zodiac signs and stuff like that to make sure it works within those signs for the person whoever i'm making it for in this case it's going to be me so i'll be working with the star sign of capricorn um and yeah i'll be talking about planetary alignments and working with those in those energies and many other things coming in the videos so at the moment though i've got a crystal 
Quart Point, which is a little bit oh, hexy. I put a spell on you. <laughs> no, um, I really like this. I was in the shop looking through them, and this point was there, and I just loved the look of it. I just loved it. It was just a beautiful, I don't know. I just loved it. And I thought, right, you can be my wand, because I have got a mini altar. So this is my wand. Yeah. Um, out of there, I also then needed a new pendulum. Hence, we have a black obsidian pendulum. Um, and the reason I use obsidian for, guys, is I do a lot of paranormal investigation, ghost hunts, stuff like that. And I do a lot of spirit communication. So I like to have something of protection, something of divination, um, and something I can work with within the spirit as well. So I'll be doing a video on pendulums. We'll be making our own pendulums as well. And I'll be showing you exactly how to do this uh, a few different ways throughout the series. So I'm looking forward to doing some work with those. Um, I also got this little guy again this is obsidian this one here is an obsidian egg and this is going to be on my altar so i need to figure out some sort of little stand for this probably going to carve one out of wood or do something awesome with it so i've got that there again to repel negative energies and stuff and i've got a whole host of different smaller crystals inside of here now you can see that some tiger's eyes some jet some hematite um yeah we've got all sorts of things inside of there selenite inside of there as well guys um so yeah that's pretty good and now here it is this is the thing you all been waiting for i haven't read it <laughs> i've heard a lot of controversy about it so i guess you understand now it is a book that i'm referring to and it's this one now i do like books that have folk magic i love folk practice practitioner magic or whatever and i love reading about folk magic from around the world this can be anything from hoodoo, voodoo, all the way through to any kind of religious study uh, uh, or even occult study to do with folk practice and magic. I mean, a few years ago, quite a few years ago now, I researched the, Pen um, the Pendle Hill Witches and some of that folk magic, what they used was absolutely crazy uh, or what they were accused of, such as digging up a grave and taking dead man's fingers to use in a spell and all these other things. And in this book, there's quite a lot of spells like this, you know, um, not about like tossing chickens or something or roosters over your head or whatever but this is the book and i got it because it's a beautiful book it's been up for quite some time now it's been up for a few years and just look at that look at that it's like embossed it's beautiful witchcraft a handbook of magic spells and potions uh so it's anastasia gray wolf with original illustrations by melissa west now i have seen a couple of people absolutely slate this book they've called her racist they've called her all sorts of names about whatever she's written inside this book. Basically, she is probably old school. I don't know how old she is, but she's probably old school. She refers to gypsies as gypsies, you know. She refers to black magic as black magic and white magic as white magic, you know. And that's that's all good. We live in a new age world now. I hate to say that new age stop. No, we live in a cotton wool world now, where we've got a lot of people, and if it doesn't fit their ideal, what they think's correct, they like to bitch and moan about it. So for the first time ever the day, I was watching a video and I seen someone referring to white magic and black magic as racist. I understand where they're coming from. Oh, black magic, it's all up because of black slaves used it and all this kind of stuff. Well, you know, stop a minute, just get your head out your ass, rewind just a moment, okay, is that, <laughs> you know, it isn't just the hoodoo practitioners and stuff like that and the voodoo practitioners and stuff that created these different things black magic has existed in, in many forms way before slavery and slavery is one of the oldest forms of making money in this world you know if, if human people have always been cargo it doesn't matter if you're white black asian whatever color if you were a bit, if you could sell you they'd sell you just look at the cornish smugglers they would come here the pirates would come to cornwall and they would take the people of cornwall white people from britain and they would kidnap and sell them in other places like africa and all over the world so there's there's the same thing all around the principles and i don't want to get into race because i actually hate that because there should be no race we all want doesn't matter what color you are okay and the way i stand for this guys and the way i'm going to put, approach this subject i'm going to get out the road now because you will hear me referring to different kinds of magics uh, situations is that there is no white there is no black there can be but there is not we are the same okay i can be kind and i can be selfish i can love i can hate you know i can cause harm or i can give i can do we are capable of everything we are the same black or white we are good yes you can be darker yes you can be lighter not color and your skin but you as a person 
yeah it takes a certain dark energy of a person to pick up a gun and kill somebody it also takes a certain white energy of a person to go out and become a medic and aid as and help people okay so we as humans are both simple as that so if you're gonna follow my channel understand that I do not subscribe to any which way I am totally neutral to everything I don't see white and black as racist I do not see it that way at all I simply see white magic as the whiter side of it the fluffy bunny rabbit lovely huggy you know tree hugger side of it that's the way I see it and then you've got the dark magic yeah you've got things where people do stupid things like sacrifice animals and you know and stuff like that and I understand the theory behind it the death energies and stuff like that but you know what it is I've studied the craft for so long and there's been no nothing I've ever come across from death energy release to say that's even a thing oh, something's telling us that it might be though <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat anyway guys this book here it's controversial I'm gonna read it I'm gonna have a look inside it we might practice some of the things inside of it um, so let's have a quick read of the back of this here to see what it says. It says, tap into the magic all around you with witchcraft, an illustrated guide to ancient potions, spells, chants, rituals, incantations from around the world. Learn how to form a spirit circle with coven members. Ooh, I don't have coven. Uh, <laughs> what instruments you need for your craft, special conjurations for each day of the week, and hundreds of crafty spells and potions that will allow you to banish headaches. That's pretty gnarly. Uh, keep your home safe. Okay, uh, envision your future spouse. I've already got one, thank you. Uh, communicate with animals. You've seen that, I'm pretty cool with that, all right. Uh, conceive a child, no. One thing I'm a dude, I definitely don't want to conceive a child and my partner does not want to conceive no children, no, no, no. Two of us in a van, for those who've got kids, I'll love to you and everything, but we live a van life, we travel, we've got our freedom, I quite like that, okay. Um, uh, summon the dead. I do that quite regularly, um, table tipping, necromancy, that kind of stuff, you know, divination, talking spirit boards, uh, things like that. Uh, make it snow. Really? Make it snow? We'll give it a go. Uh, separate lovers. No, I do know how to do that one. Uh, know your future. I'd, yeah, divination, do that. Make someone fall in love. Who can I make fall in love? I don't know. I don't like doing that because that's taking... <laughs> I'd rather do a curse. You know, when someone's throwing shit at me, I can throw bricks back and do a love spell. <laughs> and the reason being is that that's their free will. They've done nothing to me and I'm messing with their life and putting them on a path they shouldn't be on. And a prime example of this is my first real love uh, when I was 16 year old, we did a knot spell together, not magic. And then I spent about two or three or however many years in pure misery and hating each other. Violent relationship, horrible relationship. Um, I've had boy and oil thrown at me she was very volatile very aggressive um, she fell pregnant um, said it was my son although she was using contraception and so was I supposedly turns out she wasn't she was a piece and condoms and needles and stuff like that and she came from a really bad background in her life where she said she just wanted someone to love her she wanted a baby um, and really she destroyed my life and uh, I don't get to see my son and stuff like that which is really sad but things but the reason I don't get to see her anymore is because she was in my life up until the day it was about three or four years in and my mum was clearing out an old box a cupboard and found a box and inside of that I found that knot and I undone the knot and the day after she stopped phoning me she had rang me two three times a day to shout at me I need money I need this I need that and I'll tell you what it is guys when you meddle in love you could be so careful because I meddle at a stupid age of like 15 16 and by the time I was 17 I had a one-year-old child and I was trapped and it wasn't anything I wanted in my life I didn't want to do it even when she felt when she was pregnant in front of my mum she told me and my mum and stuff and I turned around and went how, do you, how did that happen and my mum slapped me across the back of the head and she went how do you think it happened you dipshit and I was like well no I use protection she's on the pill how does this happen you know it turns out she was tossing a pill down the toilet and she was piercing condoms and she admitted it later in our relationship so yeah guys love spells you might get more than what you want so you gotta be careful with that shit because they can really really excuse the language fuck up your life okay so and it really did to the point where i was suicidal i mean i actually slumped down at one point and i had a hundred paracetamol and a pint of white cider and i mixed it together and i remember sitting in this house our house which we were losing and everything like that because we managed to get a house together and stuff our apartment and um i was sitting there and i looked at this drink and i was about to drink it and i i shit you not something went poof and knocked the glass clean out of my hand across the floor and i got this overwhelming sense of just love and I don't know where I came from, but it was spirit. I'm sure it was spirit 
call it angels, call it guides, guardians, whatever, something told me that wasn't what I was meant to be doing. And I was so glad that didn't happen because at that time it felt like my life was over. Who else would I fall in love with? That kind of thing. I was in such a dark place. And guys, it worked out amazing because now I'm 12 years in with an amazing relationship. Uh, absolutely love each other to bits. And um, yeah, it, we've got everything we want in life really. And it's, it's, it's a blessing. So be careful when you mess around with your love spells. Anyway, back to this, I digress. Um, right, so, see in the dark. That's different. Uh, drive away beasts. <sighs> Could've used that one for my ex, couldn't I? <laughs> no, she doesn't watch this. Um, cause a lost lover to, no, don't want a lost lover to return. Uh, read minds, cool. Delay death, mm, can't say that happening. Make a four suffer. I know how to do that. Uh, become invisible. Yeah and much, much more. Uh, the stunning uh, linoleum cut illustrations by artist Melissa West that brings the magic of the past to life. This comprehensive compendium is also a delightful page turner that's full of unexpected treasures placed in a sacred place or in your home and make sure no enemies find it to access the ins... in this... I can't say this word. Inestable powers, I believe it says. Anyway, it cost me four pounds. So, and this is such a beautiful book of four pounds. And I really don't think I can be made invisible. But inside of it, it looks quite pretty. It looks quite nice. So I'm going to have a good read through that and let you know what I think of it already. I think quite a lot of it's a load of hocus pocus. And um, it'd be quite interesting to see what this is be like. So I'll do a review on this probably during my channel. And I've got a load of other witchcraft books coming as well. I've got some real folk magic books coming to me from local people here in Cornwall who have written about the old folk magic passed down through their generations. So we'll look against what we can find basically in the high street or on Amazon, eBay, things like this. And then we'll look at something that you can't find in these places, something that you've got to know someone to go and get the book from who has written it, but in small quantities. Um, and yeah, we'll have a look at the differences between those. Anyway, guys, that is what I've been doing today. That is my shopping list for today. So I need to go and have a cup of tea and um, do some bits and pieces and sort my magical stuff out because I only have this little basket here to put all my goods in. So I need to um, work out how I'm going to fit all this in to my my little magical space and uh, yeah on the next one guys hopefully I'll have more things will have arrived because then we can start getting on with setting up the altar and uh, we'll start adding some things to our grand grimoire anyway guys till next time blessed be much love peace out aloha